Seven weeks ago, the Rolling Stones, the most popular rock group in the world, started a 30-city tour of the United States. Now the Stones are at their final stop, New York City, with Mick Jagger and his four fellow Stones, pulling in 20,000 fans per performance at Madison Square Garden. Charles Osgood showed up at today's matinee and found two performances going on at the Garden. The music lovers who attend Rolling Stone concerts are a kind of a show in themselves. Ubiquitous is the Stones' emblem, a large open mouth with the tongue sticking out. Think of that when you will. Mick Jagger himself performed in a silver jumpsuit, skin tight with a black jacket. But his fans wear whatever they darn well please, which includes even in this tiny sample, enough to drive people in the garment business crazy trying to figure out what to make. Jeans are still in. Girls are wearing halters, many of them. The boys' hair is not getting any shorter. New York's in the middle of a heat wave. But not all of the concert goers' attire can be explained away in this manner. Below, jackets of satin, colorful splashes in leather and feathers, is footwear, from sneakers and sandals to slippers and clodhoppers. But stone mania, if you can call it that, seems based at least in part on what fun it is to stick your tongue out at this great world. Charles Osgood, CBS News, New York. That's the news this Tuesday night. Roger Mudd, CBS News. Good night. In Nice, France today, police disclose that Mick Jagger and the four other members of the Rolling Stones rock group have been charged with illegal use of heroin. Officials said that Jagger and three other members of the group were given provisional liberty after a court appearance yesterday, and a warrant was issued for the arrest of guitarist Keith Richard and his wife, who failed to appear.